course, I'm trial fitting these wings. None of the holes are lining up. Need to throw everything on the car, basically, to get everything out of the way. So you do see this on quite a lot of cars where the rear valance doesn't match up to the rear wing. I'm going to try and get it the best I can, but at the moment it involves taking quite a lot of material out of that last wing bolt up underneath there. So not quite sure what I want to do with that yet. Because these last two bolts here also hold on the removable valance, I'm thinking of putting some sort of a quick release through bolt that passes through eventually um this last one like i mentioned i may even weld a little bit more of a tab on there because i'm gonna have to cut this bit of material out for the bolt to um pass through it and hopefully line up with that balance does that make sense i'll work on that a bit more but that's as close as i can get that for now so I'm not actually going to be putting any of the wing beading etc on at the moment. There's still some bits of uh, bodywork that I want to sort out. There's actually a run that I've spotted on this wing somewhere. Not that you can see it, but I can. And uh, the whole idea is basically to get all the panels on the car. So I'm not moving panels here, there and everywhere. So I can just wheel the car in and out with these. But um, the wing beading, that's another story. The pre-hole cuts that have been made in this wing beading are pretty much useless. Um, they don't even match up with the bolt holes, so a couple of them do, but a lot of them don't. So I'm going to end up having to uh, cut my own anyway. There's a lesson learnt there. I should have fitted all the panels before painting anything. Just getting the inside of the doors ready for another coat of paint now. So I've got the door sprayed and got the bonnet on. A little bit more adjustment, but it's on. Now I'm just gonna spend a little bit of time painting this floor pan out. So I'm just giving it another little coat of Pour 15 and it's very thin down Pour 15. It was my last little tin that I had, but it's another protective coat for it. So the doors are going to have to wait to go on because I can't find the screws. It's getting another coat on the bus. You let that dry off, that second coat. Sand it down with uh, 400 and then do it all again. Now I'm having real trouble getting this rear hatch taped and sheeted off. Just can't find the best way. That goes for the cargo door also. Managed to get the overspray courtesy of a previous owner off of this fuse box, off of the terminals and the plastic. Now rubbing alcohol actually uh, removes it off of the plastic nicely, or in this case, uh, hand sanitizer. We've got plenty of that laying about in this day and age. Ordered new screws. I'll find the others one day in a box full of bits that have been lost in the abyss. Just gonna go around and sand and feel any little imperfections, any little dings that I've got. There's plenty of them. Well, if you've ever sanded down an old Artex ceiling, exactly what this is feeling like at the moment where my spray gun was messing up as you probably noticed the doors are now on a little bit more adjustment to get done but uh should be okay. Near side's a little bit high at the top, but hopefully the weight of everything going in it will uh, rectify that. As always, a little bit more paint to be applied after wet sanding. 
and I've got one little scratch on the door there. Just wanted to mention also, I was a little bit gutted, but the previous 67 that I restored in this very garage has made its way onto eBay and it's now sold for touching £10,000 with the addition of new wheels, a higher stance and some new tail lights. I'm glad it's still out there though, doing the rounds. I mean, I must have done something right. When I was looking through the photos of the car on eBay, I actually realized something. And that was to actually get the car up and running, I'd robbed the alternator off of my 1776. So I've got one on order and that's just come in. Brand new 55 amp alternator and all the trimmings to go with it. The engine when it was in this car actually had a dynamo, so I'll be making a conversion at some point. Gonna have to try and find everything to get this deck lid fitted now. I run standoffs on the deck lid, just need a little bit of a tidy up. Hit those sliding brackets there with a little bit of satin black. Up they go. There's all the other hinge components. Now I haven't got any replacement hardware for these bolts, so I'm just gonna clean the heads up. Cut down some new stainless hardware though for the uh, swing hinge. That's it, just got to button everything up now, get it a little bit tighter. That's the standoff done. Those two so that is definitely all I've got in me for today. So until next time, make it better than it was. I'll see you on the next one.